Is this really your girlfriend? Jeez, John, I've had 180 bucks in my pocket before, too. You're not doing anything like that. Please. But that's really her? No, what, what's your name? No, John. I, yeah, I already know this fucking name. What's your name? I can, you got to say it with your mouth. What? Monique. 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 I'm assuming that's her name, not yours, because that would be awful. You would ruin the name. If your name was Monique, that would ruin so many masturbatory fantasies for me. That's what it okay. Monique, why are you dating John O? That's all it took? Now, had you ever seen the comedy before tonight? Yeah. No. No, no, I have. No, so tomorrow, no, add me on Facebook when you're single, because that was a, a turnoff. <laughs> that was good, John. Did you enjoy his comedy? Did you enjoy the part about the black girls? That's a fake. I thought he brought you like a prop, like, hey, listen, I'll give you a hundred bucks if you come and listen to me tell this joke and then kiss me after. Because that would have been that would have been really funny. Knowing that you were really here to see Cloud, that like, Ugh. but if you would just come like on a joke, like, ah, we're just fucking with you. I only get white girls still. Um, no, that'd be pretty funny stuff. Is John the first white guy you've ever dated? No. Second. Have there been a lot? How many? Does John know? Have you ever dated a black guy? Yes. Really? And you just kind of got turned off to that whole. Right? If I could set you up with Robbie Lakeman, would you dump John like on the spot? He's a world record holder in Donkey Kong. I'm not, well, you know, I'm not trying to make panties hit the floor like that. But he, Robbie, go go play some Mario Brothers. Get these ladies back. Later, later we'll play. Later we'll play. Okay. We'll play later. Ladies, that's something to stick around for. The panty dropping video game stylings of Robbie Lakeman, who will with his back to you for hours. Play Mario. Well, John, thank you for coming all the way up from Manchester on your day off. Not even your day, you faked it and called out of work. So no one tagged John O on Facebook. He is lying about where he is right now. And he came in your work shirt. That was nice. Very nice. All right, and now you have a girlfriend, so you don't have to come on your work shirt like you did for a couple of years. That's awesome. Unless you want to wear it, you can wear it. And you can be like, hey, I tried to think of a really funny car metaphor, and I couldn't say it. Because that works. Right. Would you buy a car from John O? You feel comfortable that you would not? That's fair enough. We are going to uh, bring on a special guest. It's not John O, although he does have several more minutes of jokes. Oh, yeah. Kiss him good, buddy. Kiss him real good. And while you're kissing him, think of the, think of the child support joke. That was funny, though. Make your vag like a vacuum sealed vacuum. <laughs> Well, John O. Gross, his girlfriend, to prove a point in the back. Yeah, oh, look at that. Oh, she's a minority and he loves her. That's, oh, that's, that's sexy. That's sexy. Thank you, back pages. All right, we're going to bring up our next actor. This gentleman originally is from Bowen, New Hampshire. Maybe you've heard of it. He is one of the founding fathers of Punchlines and Blues. He's a guy that in a pitch you come in and do three to five to sometimes seven minutes of comedy that people just really, really were turned off by. But he's gone away now. He's come back. And he's, he's, this is his annual visit. He's come back for not only Robbie Layton's birthday, but for his own ego stroke. He has clearly stated on Facebook several times he is out of the holding room that you will, you probably will not get his comedy uh, because he's living in New York City now. Maybe you've heard of it, is what he says. Ladies and gentlemen, a, a UNH graduate who has gone on to do absolutely nothing, nothing with his degree. A bold high school graduate who is not even asked to donate anymore. They are so put off by what he has done with his life. A problem drinker. I forgot to add. A problem drinker and gun enthusiast. Ladies and gentlemen, get your booze queued up. Kevin Frolix, ladies and gentlemen.